Hi friends, this test is applied to determine the twist numbers of yarn that have been taken out of the fabric. The twist is the measurement of how much yarn is spirally rotated in order to hold the yarn and its fibers together. And thus, the twist provides strength and wholeness to the yarn. The application of this test is valid for all kinds of yarns except weaving yarns and those which are warped with open-end systems. When applying the test, we'll utilize the yarn twisting device and tensioner weights. During the process of preparation of the samples for the test, the fabric is conditioned at least 16 hours at standard atmospheric conditions. Then, from our samples, bands are prepared through the warp and the weft. The sample length and count should be determined according to the standard table that gives the appropriate match for the given yarn type. According to this table, our test length must be 20 centimeters long and the number of samples should be 20 units. From different parts of our fabric, five apiece bands for the warp and weft yarns must be drawn. The length of these bands should be appropriate for the test length. That is, the bands should be prepared longer than 20 centimeters, since the test length is 20 centimeters. The width of the bands must be sufficient for the yarns that are going to be taken out of the bands. An equal amount of yarns must be taken out of each band of five. Since the test requires 20 samples to be worked on, four pieces of yarn from each band should be extracted. Four bands with 20 samples are separately prepared for the warp and weft in the same way. That makes 40 samples in total. Then, as told before, four yarns are extracted. But the yarn extraction should be done during the application of an earlier test in order to prevent twists from opening. We will see this process during the test. So, I am primarily going to prepare the test samples and then I am going to utilize the device to perform the test. The direction of the yarn twist for the samples should be checked before performing the determination of the twist test. In order to do this, some yarn not shorter than 10 centimeters is taken from the fabric and then investigated while holding it in a vertical position. The determination of the twist is done according to the resemblance to middle parts of the Z and the S letters. If the twist is more like the middle curve of an S, than a Z, then it is called an S twist, otherwise called a Z twist. And when we investigate this yarn, we see this as a Z twist. Therefore, we set our device to Z twist. Then the test is applied on the sample. But in the yarn twist that is taken out from the fabric, we should not take out the yarn before. However, this test requires the yarn not to be extracted before the test as mentioned before, because an opened twist will fail the test. The test area is prepared in accordance with 20 cm long samples. When it comes to exactly 20 cm, we fasten it. During the test, the twist should not be opened. Thus, we exclude the yarn from the fabric. Therefore, we take out some yarn. 
we hold it from the end point so that the twist can stay closed and we fasten it to the moving part. The whole yarn can be taken out while the other end of it is also fastened to the other part. It is because the opened twist does not affect the test area anymore. We put the proper tensioner weights chosen from the table according to the yarn number. Then we start to test for the twist opening of the yarn. As the twist is opening and the yarn is growing longer, the pointer is also moving. The twist of the yarn will be fully opened in a certain position and the pointer will become fixed here. Then it will start closing. This time the pointer will move in a reverse direction because of the closing. Finally, it will reach the zero point. At this point, the test is finished and we are able to read the twist value on the screen. As this twist value that we read is for the opening as well as for the closing of the yarn, we get half of this value and this value is the number of the twist yarn in 20 centimeters. However, the value on the screen is the total for the opening and closing phrases. Thus, half of the value is considered as the twist number for the 20 centimeter long yarn. In order to calculate the twist value for a length of one meter, the obtained value is multiplied by five. After doing Doing the same process to the other warp and weft samples for 20 times, we give the twist value after taking the arithmetical mean of the results. The same steps are performed for the other warp and weft samples for 20 times, and the arithmetic mean of the values is taken as the result.